My name's Neil Balthaser and I'm your host at Ultra Mobility, the channel all about Class B camper vans. If you're interested in Class B camper vans or are looking to buy, this is the channel for you. If you haven't done so already, I ask you to please consider subscribing. It's super easy. Just click the subscribe button and it'll help me continue to make great videos. Our next question is from 277KNE, and 277KNE asks, did I read correctly that Mercedes is building a gas engine in 2019? I know the Metris is out. Are you referring to the Sprinter? Well, yes, indeed, 277KNE, I am referring to the Sprinter. Mercedes-Benz announced that in model year 2019, they're releasing globally three versions of the sprinter the diesel version the gas version and an all electric version as well now the all electric version will not be released in north america and mercedes has said they're going to wait and see what the demand might be but if the demand is high enough then they will release the electric version of the sprinter in north america but indeed there is going to be a gas version available and you can believe that all the major RV manufacturers are going to be opting to build on the gas version of the Sprinter as well. It just makes a lot of sense. So for those buyers who prefer to have diesel, you'll have the diesel version, then you'll have the gas version as well. Now I did an episode in gas versus diesel where I talk about why Mercedes might be releasing a gas version. And you're welcome to watch that video. I think it's a really nice in-depth discussion of why you should go with a gas model. I'm excited that Mercedes is offering the Sprinter in a gas model because up until today, you can only get the Sprinter in diesel. And for many of us, that works great. But for some of us in some parts of the country, getting the right blend of diesel is a little bit more difficult. So having a gas version of the Sprinter, I think is gonna open up uh, the RV, RV manufacturers to a lot more people buying the Sprinter chassis for their RVs. Now, in addition, I also did another video that showed a sneak peek of what the 2019 Mercedes Sprinter is going to look like. But since that time, we've actually seen the actual 2019 Sprinter van now from Mercedes and so I'm going to put that up and I'm going to show that a little bit because I think it goes back to what I spoke about in my video regarding how Mercedes is very much uh, believes in evolutionary design for their cars and for their vans. So you'll notice that the 2019 Sprinter, it looks very cool. I, there are many things I like about it but if you look at it side by side with the current model Sprinter, it's not radically different. And that's really nice to know. It's, it's nice for those of us who own previous model years. For instance, this is a, a 2017 Sprinter. It's built on the 2016 chassis, but it really doesn't look radically different from the 2014 chassis, which is when, or the 2013 chassis, which is when they did the big change. The 2013 uh, up for up to 20, 2006 had a different design for the Sprinter, but it's not radically different from this version. And the new 2019 version won't be radically different from this version either. So take a look at the, the video, take a look at it. I think it's very handsome. I think it's gonna be a very nice looking Sprinter and it's gonna be available in gas. And maybe one day we'll see it delivered here in North America as an electric version as well. Fingers crossed, because I would totally love to have an all-electric van. That would be just the coolest thing in the world. It's important to keep in mind that although Mercedes is releasing the new design in model year 2019, most likely most of the RV manufacturers like Pleasure Way, Winnebago, and Road Trek, you won't see that 2019 chassis appear until at the earliest the end of 2019 but I'm banking you won't really see any RV manufacturers release until 2020. 
that that's what I believe. It just it just takes them a while to get the van in, and it's a little bit different, and they have to go through different uh, design processes and things, and change you know how they build their cabinetry and do their build outs on the interior and things like that. So, I think you'll probably see them in 2020. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love if you became a subscriber. It helps me continue to make great videos. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I try to answer each and every one of them. We'll see you again next time on Ultra Mobility, your channel for Class B camper vans. Take care. Bye-bye.